Holstead, your El Paso realtor. Today we're talking with Sam Tremble, the director of marketing at Lone Star Title. Now, Sam, the, the, the topic I want to discuss with you today, I'm hearing there's some concerns about wire fraud here with real estate transactions in El Paso. Uh, what's going on there? Uh, absolutely, Michael. Thanks for, for talking to us today. One of the things that we're really seeing a lot of uh, as of late is a type of fraud where someone is managing to get into a real estate transaction email chain, um, usually kind of sitting back, not doing anything until right before closing, and then we're seeing somebody reach out typically to buyers with a change of wiring instructions. Um, it's, it's kind of a scary thing because if that change of wiring instructions, if that buyer goes through with that process and does go ahead and change where they wire that money, there's a potential that it could be gone. So. That's kind of what we're seeing happening right now. How are they convincing the the client, the buyer, or supposedly, to switch that money? Are they they're in, be playing an imposter to the title company? Uh, it's not not always the title company. Um, sometimes they're they're doing what we call ghosting somebody else in the real estate transaction. We've actually seen it come from what looks to be the realtor. We've seen it come from what looks to be the title company. We've even seen it come from what looks to be a lender. So typically speaking, the person, the, the imposter, if you will, or, or, or the hacker, is basically sitting on the sidelines during the conversation and then taking on the identity, basically, of one of the people in the transaction, one of the trusted people, in some cases even recreating their signature in their email line, and then sending an email just to that buyer right before closing saying, hey, we've had a change. Um, there's new wiring instructions that will need to be followed. So I know uh, both for you as the realtor and also for your buyer customers, what's important to know is, is um, typically speaking, you always want to verify wiring instructions before wiring any money, A. And the best way to do that is to call you. They know you. They know your phone number. And you can call us or to call the title company at a verified number. And really what I mean by verified is Google being Yahoo, preferably Google, because those numbers are typically verified in a way that cannot be changed for a long period of time. So, so yeah. best protection is call the person you know to verify that change, mm -hmm. and there shouldn't be any changes. There should not. Secondly, if you can't get a hold of your realtor or, or your title person, somebody you know, then before you call that phone number, yeah. Google the it, company and see if it's there. Absolutely, and it's always better to err on the side of caution. So. You know, once you wire that money, in a lot of cases, that, that is done. In the day of technology, it's, uh, it's a completed transaction pretty quickly. So even if it means delaying it a little bit, that's always better than, than the alternative. All right. Okay. Great information. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Thank you.